Hello! I hope you're having a good day today, as always. I've got something new to show you now. Um, so this is something that I don't actually use currently on my streams, but it was something that I used a long time ago, and I think it's really cool. Um, I guess it depends on the sort of stream that you do and what sort of stuff that you want to show on your screen. So, what I'm going to talk about is integrating your stream with XSplit or OBS into Discord. So, if you didn't know already, you can get some uh, Discord overlays, which do things like uh, show you voice activity. If you're in a room on Discord, a voice room, you can show the people that are in the room on your, on your stream. It could also show, say, a link to your server to show how many are online right now. And it can also do things like show a chat room on your Discord. If you want to link, like, a room on your Discord to show on your screen, so whenever people post in your Discord it appears on the screen, you could do that. And you could do all of this with this. The Discord Stream Kit. And honestly, this is so easy to use. I used to use this before on my streams. I used to have at the very top, I used to have a link to my Discord. Showing like the name of the server, the URL, and how many people are online. I also used it to show when I streamed a lot of PC, who was in the Discord chat. It used to show pictures, that sort of stuff. And this is super easy to configure as well. So I use OBS. All you do is you go on to install for OBS. It pops up with the options right here. So, you can pick the server that you're in, so obviously my server Smilar. We can see right here, this is my server, this is my server URL and how many people are online right now. You can put this on your stream, so this little box here, so people can easily see your Discord server. You can customise it so easily, you can take off the, like, the online account, like, online account, and you can take away the, the picture. You can hide the link to the server, but obviously I want the link on there so people can see what it is. You can customise the Discord logo as well, you can make it purple, you can make it black, you can make it white. You can literally customise every element of this, like whether you want a background or not, what text colour you want, uh, all that sort of stuff as well. So that's like the Discord link to your server. Chat widget can basically link to a chat room on your server. So you can link the server, you can pick the chat room right here. So obviously we got general right now, it shows all the messages right here that are in my general chat. And that is live as well, so people can be on your Discord server posting while you're streaming, and the messages will appear on there. Which is quite cool if you wanna if you wanna really build a community on Discord and link it with your streams. It's really cool to do stuff like that. Again, you can customize the look of all of this. All of this with all these different options. There's quite a lot of options. And then finally we have the voice widget right here. So what this does right here, if you can see when I'm talking, you see the, the picture right here, I've got like a green circle around it. If I stop talking, it disappears. It's like a voice activity. And this shows anyone that's in a Discord chat with you. So if you're doing like, a, in, if you're in a room and there's like 10 people in there, it will show all of their profile pictures. You can customize all of this. You'll see it says voice channel. So that's what I'm in right now. You can pick the voice channel in your server that you want to use for that. And it will show the members of it. Again, you can customize. You can say only show people that are speaking right now. When they're not speaking, as you can see, it disappears. You can hide names, hide avatars, that sort of stuff. Again, you can choose the colour, the font, the text, all that sort of stuff. And just like all the other stuff that I've shown you before with Streamlabs and everything else, it's so easy to add it onto your stream. Each of these screens, you'll notice it has a URL right there, this URL here. It also has the dimensions that you need to set it as to make it look proper. It's so easy, you just go into OBS, Streamlabs OBS, XSplit, add a new source on any of your scenes, pick a browser source, and then you just put in that URL. You can put in the numbers as well if you want to get it specifically that size, but that's it. You just put in the numbers, it's as easy as that. You put in the URL and you're done. It's linked up to your Discord, it's as easy as that. And because this is done through a um, through the web, and Discord is also on the web as well, Discord app, you don't need Discord running on your PC to do this. You can literally do it if you use a Discord on your phone, and you're liking a Discord chat on your phone, or just link to your server anyway, you, you could do it like that. You don't need Discord running to use this. As long as you're signed into Discord and you link it up this way, it's as easy as that. It's a good way of promoting your Discord server on the stream. It's a good way of linking more with it, making your stream more interactive, but integrating it with Discord as well. You can put on, obviously, a channel, like a text chat, any of your rooms on there. You can put on a voice channel to show who's talking. I personally think the voice widget is really good if you're doing like a talk show sort of thing. If you've got people on there who don't all have their cameras on, the voice widget could show who's talking at any time. You can set it so that it only shows the people that are talking. When they're talking, their picture and their name appears. It's as easy as that, really. It's really good for a talk show. 
and the, the chat widget again it's good for like a talk show sort of thing but also for linking your mixer community and your discord community together or any of your streaming communities with your discord community it links it together it adds in more interactive elements on your stream but yeah that is the discord streamer kit overlay right there if you'd like to get that i'll put the url down in the description below or just search on google for discord overlay and you'll find it like the third or the fourth result on there but yeah that's it really so thank you so much for watching. If you want to know more about the Discord overlay and stuff, fire me a message. Discord, YouTube, Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever you want to message me on, fire me away. Put a comment in the da uh, description down below. Go into my stream, mixer.com forward slash smiler and put a message in the chat. But thank you so much for watching. I will see you all again in another video. Thank you.